at times you're thinking, am I crazy for doing this? Uh, but then in the very next breath, uh, they'll say something that just melts your heart. And you're like, nope, I'm doing this for the right reasons. It's kind of a pay it forward type deal in which uh, the grace you receive is the grace that you give. Really, The system itself doesn't take care of kids. People take care of kids. At this moment in the state of Texas, there are roughly 28,000 children in the foster care system. This is an epidemic that is sweeping the nation. Although many are stepping in to help, there still aren't enough. These three men have set out to help these children in any way they can, no matter what. Austin Wright is the minister at the Nakona Church of Christ. He has been very involved in helping the children of Montague County. And you hear these stories on and on and on, but it's not even just the stories. Um, I know from a personal standpoint that uh, I could have very well been one of those kids. Um, when I was born, I was born to a 13-year-old mother and an 18-year-old father who, uh, uh, who gave me up for adoption. I have no idea what life would have been like in that family, but I know what my life is now because my parents uh, were concerned about uh, children who needed help. You know, I, I substitute in schools. I go into these places. The kids are there. I know them. Uh, I know the kids because they come to our churches. Uh, they walk into our stores. It's a personal thing, and we can't sit idly by while these kids are being abused and neglected and do nothing. The sad thing is, is that there's not enough foster families in our county. We need 12 to 15 foster families in our county so that um, uh, we can place those kids taken out of their families through CPS with a home here in the county, but we've only had four or five. And so a lot of times these kids are taken out of their homes, which causes a second trauma in their lives because they're taken out of their schools, away from their other family, away from their friends, and placed in other counties, even as far as Houston. Representative James Frank is the representative for the 69th district in the state of Texas. He works through the government to help make life better for foster children. And, and one of the ways we got involved was because our church started to do it, and really we didn't know uh, until you know, had a, one of our really good friends get involved that a lot of the kids that got taken out of homes here were taken to other places around the state because we didn't have foster homes. It's one thing to be moved out from your parents' house, but then you also ripped out of your school and out of your, you know, if you happen to be going to a church or anything else, you're taken away from everything if we don't have foster, foster homes in those communities. And so, uh, you know, anything you can do to get more, you know, foster families in the communities is good. One of the things I've been working on is trying to make it a little bit easier to do foster care. There's 28,000 kids that the state of Texas has said you're, you're, you know, has removed from parental control and we're a hundred percent responsible for them. And that is, you know, if you're a hundred percent, the state of Texas, if you're a hundred percent responsible for 28,000 kids in Texas, you need to do it very, very well. Anybody can get involved and, and, and really you've got, if, if, if you have 20, you have 28,000 kids in Texas whose lives have been disrupted because of in almost every case because of really irresponsible acts on the part of their parents. And we need really 28,000 responsible adults to intervene. Mr. Patrick Flanagan is the head band director at Nakona High School. He and his wife have adopted four of their five children. I was actually standing on a ladder watching my high school band march and my wife called me on the phone she said, Janice, that's our caseworker, she just called and, and um, there's a baby boy and she wants to know if we'll take him. He's three weeks old and uh, I've got to call her back within the next five minutes with an answer. And that was our, our first placement was our, our little boy who we have since adopted. While we were going through the training, there was a, a girl who was um, a little bit older than our biological daughter and we went to our uh, social organization um, office, World for Children office in Victoria to, to meet this little girl. And these three little girls came in with their foster mom. And um, it's just very cute, very adorable. And we just fell in love with these little girls. Um, and as soon as they left, 
Uh, we looked at our caseworker and said, Janice, if, if those girls come open for adoption, you know, we would be interested. So in January, they started to come to our home for um, play dates and then for overnight visits, and they did that for about four weeks. Um, and then they moved into our home um, on the Monday following Valentine's Day that year. Uh, so we went from one child in August to two children in September to five children in February. The first six months were pretty chaotic. Children who are in foster care tend to try to push adults away. Our at the time, five-year-old was emotionally about the level of a three-year-old. She didn't know how to communicate um, anger or um, being upset or sadness other than just screaming and crying. You know, she would crawl under the table and just scream and cry for two, three hours straight. And nothing you could do would console her. There was just, there was nothing you could do until she got it out of her system. Um, so I spent many a night sitting underneath the table you know, telling her things were going to be okay and it was going to be all right um, and that we loved her no matter what. Three men, all with different stories and backgrounds, have joined together to fight for children who cannot fight for themselves. One cause, 28,000 children.